Hi, Thumos. Welcome back. God is good. It's uh, it's Friday. It's June tenth, and it's a beautiful day. And I'm pumped. I'm I'm feeling good. I'm really I'm feeling good. The sun's out. I'm healthy. I got food in the fridge. <clears throat> Running a bit low, but that's gonna you know we'll go shopping soon. I've been getting back into the gym, and that's made me that's made me feel good, man. Like like when I say getting back into the gym, I've been going to the gym, but what I've been doing is I've been going in with intention, and it's reminded me of my old bodybuilding days. And this intention, it's like, dude, every workout that you do is like it's a gift. It's an amazing time to actually grow your body. To use these tools, these metal tools, these things that are, you know, just waiting for you. They are unchangeable. It's a blessing to be able to use those to create something beautiful. Something that represents power. Something that, you know, is mighty. And that is a testament to the strength of being a human, the body, and to form that into this this thing that is powerful and, and and beautiful. So, you know, that's that's being poetic about it, but man, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. And it gets me excited because as you get older, you know, you get older and you start to get you start to go this way and that way, you forget what's important. For me, bodybuilding has been something that's immensely important in my life. But it's easy to get away away from. And so we're getting back to it, man. I wrote some things down I want to talk to you guys about. This is really, again, this is for me. Because I want to remind myself when the going gets tough. I want to remind myself here in the next three months as the High Thumos, got, the High Thumos Men's Community and me, we do this challenge. I want to hold myself accountable because I'm the leader. you know, And I got to be in there. I got to be leading the way. And, and also, I, I can't let these guys down. So I want to be... I want to be crushing it with you guys. So this is the live like a bodybuilder challenge. All right. This is our, this is our first really bodybuilding challenge um, that we've had in the group. We're starting on the 15th and I'm excited. So the first thing is <clears throat> don't be an anxious lifter. You know, don't be an anxious kind of guy that goes into the gym. You haven't been maybe consistent, but you go into the gym and you're worried like, are you going to have abs? Are you going to get stronger? Are you going to see your bicep veins? Like you cannot be that kind of anxious weirdo lifter because the bicep vein isn't going to show after the workout. It's not going to show after a week. You're not going to see abs after a couple days. Nothing's going to really change in, in a, the week to week. It's after two months, three months that you start to really see some sort of changing of the body and but when you're anxious when you're anxious you want like things fast you want that instant transformation and and so you don't honor the workout you're kind of like just okay i made it today but you're not really honoring the workout and the time that you have in that workout um when you're anxious about lifting like you're just you're all in your head you need to make this a lifestyle that's why I call it live like a bodybuilder. Because if you want to gain muscle, if you want to become a strong man, we have to live a lifestyle that's going to make you strong. Okay? These days, it's very easy not to live like a man of power and virility and, and just it, discipline. Like It's very easy not to be that kind of man. Because our lifestyles don't have to be. We have so much... Instant gratification and comfort everywhere, guys. And it's very difficult. You know, it's very difficult when you get caught up in that stream. It's hypnotic. All the shows, all the TV, all the games, all the social media. Everything's like, it's like we're in a, <clears throat> we're just seated. And all around us is just this screen. And we're caught up in this, this motion. You know, we're just watching everything. Everything's so interesting and fascinating. And it's like taking us on this ride around and around and around and we're hypnotized by this and it's like we're so hypnotized and life is passing us by and eventually you know i i feel it man i feel it too like dude what the fuck 
what's this like anxiety going on in the background of my life? <clears throat> Everything's pretty good, but why is there that sort of budding, nagging anxiety at the back of my mind? You know, like the only, always something's a little bit off. Something's a little bit weird. I don't know where that came from. I think it, I think it's, I think it's really probably not enough time to myself and, and, um, and, and just listening to too much. Like I'm hypnotized by the world and we get hypnotized by it all and we forget what is important in our own lives. So that's, that's what I've been feeling, man. And, you know, I am kind of branching off from what I was talking about, but this comes back to being a man who decides to live with discipline. And for me, I know the bodybuilding lifestyle because I've done it, I've competed. And for me, that motivates me. And so maybe it's not what motivates you, but maybe you do have the desire to build muscle and to be a strong man. So this is how I'm going to look like, how I'm going to look at it. You can also choose to do that. So three months, we're going to break this down into three months. The original video I made was live like a bodybuilder for one year. We're going to have four phases. And this is the first phase. If you're in the group, you already know this because I announced it today. We're doing this together. So you get your picks in there. One of them is going to be just a relaxed pose. You're holding a toothbrush. The next one's going to be a most muscular. You're flexing. And the other one's going to be a double bicep. Okay, so you're going to be flexing your, your arms like that over your head. And uh, we're going to be committed. So the next thing on the on my mind is we need to become we need to become barbell men. Like most guys that go to the gym are not barbell men. Now this is actually um, this is actually a good way to look at it. Is like you need to be lifting the barbell. You need to be a lifter that's first off not anxious, not thinking too much about the future. You trust your consistency and understand that with consistency you will triumph. You need to become a barbell man. When you go into the gym, the barbell is your weapon of choice. Like you have all these different tools, these different weapons, just like the broadsword, you know, like, like, you know, we, you, what do you, I would rather have a broadsword as my weapon of choice than some nunchucks or, uh, you know, some little, little pocket knife. And that's what the machines are. And that's what all of the cables are. Become a barbell man. Choose the broadsword. You know, if you played Elden Ring, you get that great sword, man. Like, there's something powerful about that. You got that gut sword on your back. You're feeling good because you know that that thing, wielding that thing, makes you a beast. And so we need to wield the barbell every morning when you get up. It's simple. The barbell is the bread and butter. Wield your, uh, you know, outfit yourself with the barbell of truth and and uh, gains. In, in real talk, I mean, the barbell is the bread and butter, the meat and potatoes. You go in there, think no more about doing crazy workouts. All of this, you know, you know, crazy stuff you see online. Keep it simple. K-I-S-S. Keep it stupid simple. How simple? Stupid simple. The barbell is the simple thing. It's a 45-pound bar. If you don't work in American units, that's 20.4 20, 20 kg. And that is going to be your sword of truth and peace and prosperity. And when you go into the gym, say it's chest day. Well, listen, man, let me tell you, you warm up, you use the bar, you pump the bar. Boom, boom, boom. Do it 20 times. Put maybe tens on. You do that. You know, you get pumped. You get the blood warmed up. You get the everything nice and ready to lift. Give yourself time with the warm up because that's where things are going to that's when the mindset starts to okay this is it man this is my day in the gym I'm here I made it I put my clothes on I had a good night's sleep the night before I had plenty of carbs everything all that nutrition and that rest now has led me to this point here I am let's freaking crush it let's build and so all right you're warmed up the mind is primed and ready and your first working set Okay, you're going to do, let's say, you know, I did this the other day, 225 for 10 reps. Now, for me, I was lifting like really heavy reps for maybe six uh, or really heavy weight for six reps. 
Now I'm starting to bump it up because I get too used to it. We got to switch it up. You know, got to confuse the body. Got to add new stimulus to this muscle. My muscles are getting too used to that. So it's time to up the volume. So I'm doing 10 reps, 225. Okay, boom. Oh man, pump feels good. Then I'm like, you know what? Let's throw, uh, let's throw five pounds on each side. There we go, 235. Now next set, you know, I rest two minutes, back in the fritz. Boom, boom, boom. 10 reps. Rest two minutes. Okay, man, I don't know if I could do that again. That was my, you know, that my rate of perceived exertion was up there. Like I failed at that 10th rep, at that 10th rep. So now I'm going to drop the weight a little bit. Let's do it. Back in it. 225, 10 reps. Got it. Boom. All right. Then I had to drop it from there. I said, man, this is, I'm not used to this volume. The blood is pumping. The lactic acid is building up. 185, 10 reps. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, I did that and some dips. My chest is shredded today, dude. I did this the other day. My chest, my chest is shredded. Like apart, not like, you know, where you can see all the muscle fibers, but it's shredded. Like I'm torn up and it's ready to grow. And so I'm going in there with this mentality. You know, I want you guys to join me in this. Because... What other, what other reason are we going to the gym for? For too many days, I've been going to the gym just out of habit. That's the problem with habit. You become a zombie in your habits. The, the brain, the, the waves, they literally shut down. The brain activity shuts down. And so you go in there, you do your same thing over and over again, and the pump feels good, but you're not pushing it. You're not really pushing it. Now's the time where we're focused, we're ready to grow. We go in with intent. Intent, we're going to war, man. We're using this time, this hour, 45 minutes, hour, hour and a half. We're going to use our time. We're going to get in and out. We're going to build some freaking muscle. We're breaking down the muscle fibers. But in order to do that, we got to stress them. And we got to push them. We got to use our mind, all right? So you, know, so you become a barbell man and you use that thing, okay? Squats, bench press. OHP, overhead press, barbell curls, deadlifts, heavy rows, you know, you know, bending over, rowing, row, row, row the boat, getting that back worked out. And you're just going to do like, do like four or five sets of the meat and potatoes. And then if you want, do some other stuff. Also, we're doing pull-ups, you know, adding pull-ups to our back day. Add pull-ups a couple times a week just to get the form. Get used to pulling yourself that body weight over a bar. And if you're doing calisthenics, listen, man, add the barbell to your life. Okay? You may be a fit and a little ninja warrior. Add the barbell to your life. It's a game changer. Okay? For you guys that are fat, you're kind of skinny fat, become a barbell man. A barbell man. Make the barbell a part of your wardrobe. It is going to change your life. It's going to make you thicker, denser. More muscular, stronger, okay? Become a barbell man. Um, also, if, if you're like like fat, you're skinny fat, you know, you need to be still, let's let's move on here. Guys, you got to get enough protein. Like, look, look it's like uh, three something right now. How much protein have you had today? Have you had enough protein? Are you at 30 grams? Are you at 40 grams? Well, if you're 200 pounds and you're trying to get a gram per pound of body weight, I mean, you're off the mark. You keep doing that, you're just not going to grow. You're not going to recover. Your workouts are going to suffer. You're going to start to wonder, why do my workouts suck? Why am I not making progress? You're not going to look as full. You're going to kind of, you might be shredded, but you're not really going to really make any gains. Like you're not really going to go up. You're just kind of going to hover in the same place for the, for months, for years. I've done it. So you got to hit your protein. Also, you need carbs. Carbs are not your enemy. They're fuel glycogen okay and if you're lifting heavy if your lifestyle demands intensity you better believe you're going to need to refeed to get those carbs back in and to, to so you can go the next day and do the jujitsu you know this is one thing i struggle with i'm doing jujitsu and the bodybuilding and it's tough and sometimes i'm worn out either i need more rest or i need more nutrition you got to kind of start to understand your body Okay, and also do not be afraid of fat. Saturated fats are going to help your hormones boost your testosterone. It's good to have some of those. Okay, 
um, stay away from seed oils and uh, you know just uh, trans fats and, and polyunsaturated fats. So you know processed food. A good way to look at it, just keep it simple. You don't need a liver diet. You don't need a vegan diet. Eat whole food. Okay, eat good quality food. Um, you know the more ingredients that a food has, get rid of it. You don't need it. Seriously, like the more ingredients that are on there that you cannot pronounce, get rid of it. Okay, uh, let's move on. Go to the gym with intent. Really, go to the gym with intent. Every time that we're going in, in this phase one, because what we're doing now is building a habit of greatness. You know, if we keep doing the same things over and over, it's the definition of stupidity without getting any different results. So right now we're building the habit of greatness, like work ethic, discipline, consistency. If we can do that, and we can start to tune our mind, like imagine if we can just get our minds right by going to the gym and, and crushing that. Imagine how that transfers to how we treat the day, to how we treat our time, to how we treat our these precious moments with people that we love and care about. Like if we can have intent in our life, that is what is going to lead us into greatness. I really believe that because too many times we're just kind of moping about not, you know, they're just kind of going with the flow and you got to get yourself out of that lazy river. You know, you ever been to a, a water park, you're just laying in the lazy river, man, just coasting along, right? We're hypnotized. There's no intent. We got to become conscious and use that consciousness, that awareness to really put the right kind of effort, right kind of effort into things. And so for me, like this is this has been huge. I I've got the food, you know. I, I'm I'm fueled up. My rest is good. All that's left is for me to make a decision. I'm going to the gym, and I'm going to pump it. I'm gonna rip it up, man. Okay. And there's gonna be days where you don't feel this, but you should feel this. Like you should feel this more frequently than not. If you do not feel this. You need more rest or you need more food. Okay. Maybe you need more water if you're, you know, you're dehydrated. That's going to show up. Lack of energy, lack of that. <clears throat> if you are low on electrolytes, your salt, magnesium, potassium, you're going to feel it. You're not going to be able to get a nice pump. So, you know, add a little bit of pink salt to your water. Um, eat a banana. You know, I like to eat a banana before I go to the gym. Um, and again, from eating whole foods and some fruits and vegetables, Get some fruits and vegetables in your diet. It's going to give you all of these things. So that's uh, that's important, okay? Listen, if you're a bigger guy, or I think for all of us, we can benefit from walking. It's summertime. Walk outside. Maybe you put on a little pack. You know, you ruck. You put on the, the 20, 25 pounds in a backpack, and you walk two miles. Or you're at the gym, and you put it on incline. Like, um, like six incline, and walk at like three to four miles per hour and you just walk for 30 minutes. Do that three times. And listen, if you're like a, a fat guy struggling to lose weight, work out, become a barbell man where you're lifting like four times a week, okay? Four or five times a week and you're doing that additional 30 minutes of steady state cardio for like three to four times a week too. Do that, you will have to get results. Continue to eat what you're eating because hopefully you're eating well. But if you do that, you will get results. Seriously, like your body will because you're adding this extra movement that you don't normally have to your life. And this new stress, your body will start to use all that food you're giving it to build the muscle, okay? And it'll get rid of all these extra, this extra energy that you don't need and stop storing it as fat. Um, guys, you know, the hard gainer, stop fasting. You guys are trying to build muscle. We don't need to fast. Like, you know, it's so easy to get up, you drink your coffee, you just fast. No, we're in the bodybuilding phase we need to be anabolic. So that means having some protein, having some stuff coming in. You know, I've done the fasting thing before. I really think that it's not even necessary. Like it's really not necessary. If you're trying to accomplish the goal of becoming a strong man and powerful, build a great physique, you don't need to fast. Okay. Um, it's also going to help fuel your workouts. So that's really it. Guys, I mean, these are a couple things that I've, that are on my mind. Like I'm, I'm, I'm with you guys, all right, in spirit. Hi, Thumos, man. Let's get it. If you guys want to join the challenge, uh, we're giving away $1,000 total to the three winners, 500 
to first place, 300 to second place, 200 to third place. And uh, everyone's just going to get in this. Hundreds of guys that we got in our group. Come join us if you feel like doing the bodybuilding challenge. I started it today, but it officially starts on the 15th. So uh, get in, man. Let's let's crush it, dude. Let's crush it. Give me an in if you're in down below. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.